Hey guys, welcome back to Car Gone, episode number three of the build. Again, Car Gone is the channel name. Two uh, 60 year olds, more or less, uh, built out of cargo trailers, zero experience, uh, experience on the road now, hence the word cargo, gone, car gone. Hey, uh, some great news. Hey, we had a little challenge before the end of the last uh, episode, hoping for at least 10 subscribers before the rapture. And hey, we tripled that, guys, and no Jesus, although I think I would have preferred the rapture, but hey, that's a whole nother episode. Anyway, so again, great news, often can be offset by some sad news. Um, probably noticed the attire here, all in black. It is sort of a day of mourning for me. We did lose the subscriber. I know that, you know, when you get started, they say you're gonna lose quite a few, it's just the way it rolls. But you know, when we have such a little number, you lose one, that's a big thing. Um, sadly, uh, yeah, that subscriber we lost was my wife. Now, she's fine physically, but, yeah. But, uh, hey, that's just uh, the way it rolls sometimes. And uh, so, hence the black color. Uh, I do know that um, there's a couple things that may bring her back. Um, uh, one's called food therapy. So, usually, I can become in her good graces again if, if I take her out to dinner twice. And I think we did that this week. Um, anyway, yeah, that'll be happening tonight again. Uh, if that doesn't work, then hiking therapy usually works, and we did hike twice this week. Uh, well, about three miles yesterday and the day before, so hopefully she'll come around and we'll get that number up by one. But in the meantime, uh, you know, just have to deal with that and uh, trudge on. Uh, the second thing, maybe you're noticing the uh, communication device here. Yeah, that uh, YouTube coach, Dr. Uh, Steer Me Wong. He's got me on his uh, remedial program. Um, anyway, uh, Dr. Wong, uh, Dave here, uh, radio check. Yep, yep, loud and clear. Okay, yeah. Hey, and where are you at? Wuhan. Wow, we got great range for these walkie-talkies. All right. Yeah, 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 you heard the news. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, oh, you have a therapist in mind. Okay, your niece, her name is Mago. Mago Wong. Yeah, I think we're going to pass right now. It's just not in the budget, though. We'll try the food and the hiking therapy, uh, uh, Dr. Wong. I do appreciate the, uh, the thought, though. Just a minute, folks. We'll take a little quick break from our sponsors. All right, guys. Thanks for the uh, brief intermission as we had to uh, switch positions here. And now we're going to be covering everything you've been waiting for. Hey, first of all, uh, take a quick glance at those lights right there. How do those work? How many wires do we have to run? Zero. Check this out. Remote control. We can light up all three of them. One underneath the counter. And brighten them. Lower them. And uh, how do they work? Super simple. Remember this whole build is uh, being simple. There you go. Off with the magnetic strip. Back on, as you can see, on the end, USB charger. Super easy, no wiring. That works great for us. We're the simple folks here. And now let's uh, take a little bit more of a walk around here. Again, uh, right there is where our uh, Towels hang. Again, we have a combination kitchen and toiletries. Not a real common home builders program where you have both your toilet trees and your kitchen together. But that's how this works here. We only have 72 square feet. Now those towels are pretty awesome, guys. Those are microfiber. Essentially, um, they work great. Uh, lasts a long time before you have to wash them, which is good for us. Pretty much how they feel is if you pretty much breed a Thanksgiving tablecloth with a car chamois. Yeah, that's pretty much what it feels like. Uh, but they do work great. And um, again, doing laundry, trying to minimize laundry is huge for us. All right, let's go uh, back over here. Our second lighting source. Boom, right there. Uh, how do I run the wires down the wall? 
Well, don't have to. Magic Velcro done. Five dollars. Walmart works out super good. And um, as you guys know, when we ended last week, we were quickly interrupted by the uh, parade of homes giving us a buzz. And uh, interesting enough, what caught their eye was this um, butcher block countertop. And they sort of asked me about the process. And I said, well, went on Amazon, hit search, butcher block adhesive paper, boom. And that was it. Yeah, they hung up on me. But uh, yeah, so that uh, was a lot simpler than uh, uh, apparently that they thought. So let's see, uh, taking a view back here. Just an overall here. We'll cover a few more things in detail on how we travel. Again, men's toiletries. Uh, Dave's little bad cheer. Now take a look at that uh, Ocean Surf speed stick. Yeah. It doesn't work too well, guys. I mean, I'm not sure about you, but I grew up near the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, yeah, the smell of decaying jellyfish and uh, rotting uh, fish heads pretty much matches that uh, speed stick. Doesn't work too well. You need to let Terry know because, as you know, she's not watching the video, so I gotta put that on my to do notes. And uh, what else we got here in the basket? Oh yeah, this is a really interesting bit here. So, went to take my uh, first shower and of course uh, Terry had prepared the whole kitchen area for me so I was a little bit confused on where everything was at. And I uh, asked her for my soap and she goes, it's right there in that bag. I said, well, okay. Appears to be a stocking stuffer and I'm good with that. She goes, nope, that's your soap. So I said, okay, well, let's see what's in it. And that was it. I said, well, I'm not too excited about chewing gum while I take a shower. She goes, no, that's that's your soap. I said, my soap? I mean, I realized the pandemic, we were short on toilet paper and paper towels, but I didn't realize that it impacted soap. She goes, nope, go use that. I said, okay. In the shower, or is that just like for my, my, my big toes? She goes, nope, that's some powerful stuff right there. So, hey. You gotta trust that wife of 35 years, so off we went and uh, lathered myself up really well. And as you know, I'm a big guy, we've talked about that before, and lots of crevices, and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, uh-oh, where'd my soap go? Looked around, couldn't find it, started to panic. Fortunately, between the panic and the excitement and having a big dinner that night, I passed a little gas and blew that soap right out yeah I, I was definitely concerned oh just a minute folks we got uh, doctor interrupt this dr. Wong on the on the in the earpiece here yes yes dr. Wong yes I canceled 911 no worries I did that for 22 years I know when we got to cancel them so then go on to bigger and better things but yeah yeah thanks for the input anyway guys that uh, really scared me so I did get promoted now I have uh, been graduated to the motel size bar of soap so yep we're all good there all right let me uh, put that up real quick and we'll take a further uh, gander back here on what's going on and uh, we'll play uh, Monty Hall here door number one so we have in there, this was an original plan for a portable AC unit, but I uh, took the wife's great advice. She said, let's hold off on that and see if we can save that $400. And so we discussed the uh, options there, and the big one was, hey, how about the old toaster oven making a trip? So yeah, two frozen pizzas this past Friday night. That worked out swell. All right, door number two, what we got in here? All right, that's our water source. Uh, Left-hand side is the uh, gray tank. Right-hand side, and then the bottles in the back will be our fresh water um, sources there. I think we got about 28 gallons once we get out in the woods if, uh, if we need that much water. And uh, I know most people use a foot pump. We actually spent the $50 for that whale pump where you 
send the water back up so it drafts from your good water tank and then it goes up to a spigot but I was just thinking you know that's like rolling the snowball uphill it's like why are we gonna fight gravity so we actually returned that foot pump and went with a simple source at five gallon jug there with a manual pump into that uh, basin there and the uh, unique thing about the basin is it has its own plug so actually you can just wash dishes there disconnect the connection to the bottom and take this out because it's not truly connected and uh, off you go and carefully dump out your gray water if it's permitted and uh, what else can we do with that oh if I've been really nice maybe I'll get a little foot cleaning you know like the whole Mary and Jesus thing all right all right let's move on to door number three door number three just basic storage for uh, pots and pans a little bit of extra toilet paper that we're hoarding there and that does that again taking another scan around the counter there's our weapons kitchen weapons there we get super bored you know stand back about five feet and see how many we can score our simple little butane heater we got a double propane one outside that we use but this is for coffee in the morning uh, tall coffee thermos is where our extra coffee or extra hot water goes so we always can keep hot water on hand and of course our fuel there our fuel tanks our two coffee thermoses whoops look what made an appearance guys episode number one the padded chickens have been hung all right let's move on uh, to our refrigerator so interesting thing there I thought we had some problems with it uh, day number three it stopped cooling I'm going what in the world Google YouTube give me a hand here and yeah I checked and sure enough said replace bag of ice boom we're good but anyway that's the uh, igloo BMX model about a hundred bucks uh, well reviewed but frankly we are disappointed it should probably be BMI for buy more ice but uh, we'll endure we're in cooler climates now now higher elevation so maybe we'll get three or four days out of a bag of ice and uh, again I've been coached by uh, dr. Wong had add some more lighting boom we're done and what else can I tell you right here oh yep so listen guys, I mean, just the reality is, I'm the designated hunter, gatherer, protector, little 20 year old, oh, foreign exchange student that we got. Her name is Obit Maker. We call her Obit, but on her uh, birth certificate, it's actually Obituary Maker. Yeah, it comes from a fine heritage of folks. Her grandpa, I think his last name was Mosberg, if I recall correctly. All right, so let's move over here to the uh, pantry section. Again, uh, every little bit of shelving space helps. We got a little extension there just for catch-alls once we're parked. Four-inch gap on top for a couple of laptops. And uh, as you can see, we've got the white shower rods there to protect things as we mobile down the road. Uh, food on the first one, second one, a combination of snacks. Showing our patriotism for the Memorial Day weekend right there with some red, white, and blue little cakes. And uh, if I've been really good, get a little chocolate pie on top of that. Uh, third shelf down, we'll cover more later, guys. That's our solar generator. That's how we get power when we don't have power. And then the uh, fourth one down there, just um, more snacks and liquidy things, olive oil, Maple syrup, some tuna cremations. Oh, I mean, sorry, that should be tuna creations. And then uh, some canned goods, and then a uh, fire extinguisher when old Dave is cooking. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much uh, summarizes the uh, whole uh, kitchen there in a nutshell. Let me uh, put this on for another quick break. Guys, we got uh, Dr. Wong on a hot mic. He doesn't know that he's live, and he's talking about another virus coming. Guys, more stimulus money, more camping money, more travel money. 
All right, guys, that's it. Hey, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Next week, the always well-received, always anticipated, probably the highlight of the whole build, the pee and the poop special, how we do it. Guys, see you next time.